This is Elda. It was once a 25-room estate belonging to David Abercrombie. And yes, that's the David Abercrombie that founded Abercrombie and Fitch. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. But before we get to that, let's talk about how he got here in Ossining, New York. What's going on, guys? So, David Thomas Abercrombie, born in Baltimore, 1867, got his career started in the engineering industry, where he worked as a surveyor for various railroad companies throughout Appalachia. And in doing that, he actually developed a lot of his own clothing so he could be more situated in different environments while, while surveying and while being out in the field. Pretty interesting. So he was forced to retire from that because he developed farsightedness and that forced him out of that business. But he moved to New York and eventually started what we now know as the Abercrombie & Fitch clothing business. In 1892, Abercrombie opened his own retail store on South Street in Manhattan. There he sold premium sporting products including fishing and camping gear and specialized clothing. In fact, Abercrombie's designs were often featured in the products. One frequent customer was a lawyer by the name of Ezra Fitch who would join Abercrombie as a business partner. But their business relationship was short-lived as both Abercrombie and Fitch fought over the future direction of their company. David wanted the store to remain true to his vision as an urban outfitter, but Ezra called for a more generalized retail store catering to a larger clientele. In 1907, a mere three years after becoming official partners, David Abercrombie disposed of all his interest in the company. So what's the story with Elda? Well, after he split from the company, David continued to work in the manufacturing business and served briefly in World War I as a major in the Quartermaster Reserve Corps. By the mid-1920s, he and his wife, Lucy Abbott Kate, acquired 60 acres of land in Ossany, New York, and built their estate, which they named Elda. Elda was an acronym for the first letter of each of their four children, Elizabeth, Lucy, David, and Abbott. Built with locally sourced granite and fieldstone, it's likely that David's past experience as an engineer and land surveyor came into play when constructing Elda. I'd like to take a minute to appreciate the true beauty of this estate. At the time the Abercrombies moved in during January 1928, Elda had 25 rooms along with servant quarters, a sleeping porch, a living room with a dumbwaiter, a three-car garage, and a gun room where David displayed his collection of antique hunting rifles. Outside was a set of iron spiral steps which led to a lookout tower that afforded views of the Hudson River. The Abercrombies resided in Elda until David's death in 1937. It was owned by several organizations and families before finally being abandoned in 2011. Since the last residents have lived at Elda until the making of this video in 2023, the estate has been subject to heavy vandalism. I visited this spot several times over the last few years to document the various stages of decay. jungle in here. While I don't consider this handheld footage particularly good, I think it's important to show what exploring an abandoned building is like firsthand. remains of the kitchen. This is cool. So this is like the upstairs. Doesn't look too too sturdy. So. That's 
cool. It's like another fireplace, another living room. Oh, look at that. It's all like the original tiling. How sturdy is this? I guess we'll find out. Whoa! Oh shit! Oh fuck! Shit, it's only hanging on by like that one thing. Fuck. Oh shit. It's hard to tell what just happened, but the very set of steps I was just on nearly detached from the hinge. It's important to always be extra cautious in moments like these. Oh fuck. I almost fucking fell down that. Huh. Well, I guess I could have came out the easy way. This room was likely David Abercrombie's gun room, where he kept all of his prize hunting rifles. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna try not to die again. It's a little more sturdy. Beautiful. Gotta try and figure out how to not die. On Sunday, April 17, 2022, the Croton on Hudson Fire Department responded to a structure fire at the former Elda estate. It was reported that crews were out for nearly three and a half hours extinguishing fire on all floors. It is unknown what caused the blaze. I return nearly one year later to see the remains. Wow, this room is destroyed by the fire. As of 2023, the Elda estate is currently on the market. The asking price, 3.2 million, as is. There are no plans on what to do with the estate, but until then, I'll see you on the next Explorer.